We've done so many takes, I'm already halfway Just through. Just do, you can fake a sip too. You want me to fake si drinking beer? This guy's crazy. Yeah, that was stupid. Happy beer day. Happy beer day. Good Man, to see beer you. is so good. Beer is so good. It's so good. I could drink it every day. I do drink it every day. I couldn't do that. I'm gonna make some beer today. Would you like to join? Thought you'd never ask. Cheers to that. Cheers. Chug, chug, chug. We're two unqualified schmoes. Highly unqualified. We celebrate those weird and not so weird national holidays in our own unique way. There's a day for everything, and we won't stop until we celebrate every day. <laughs> Yahtzee! If we can do it, so can you. It's no surprise that there's a National Beer Day. People love beer. The U.S. alone produces nearly 200 million barrels of beer annually, with the average adult of drinking age consuming 28 gallons per year. To help us make our beer, we turn to our resident beer expert and friend, Brandon, AKA the only person we knew with a homebrew kit. So yeah, you could say he knows a thing or two about beer. Beer me. All right, guys, so we don't want to get our clothes dirty, so I have aprons for all of us. Brandon, that's yours. I'm not wearing that. Brandon, thanks for being here with us. He's going to help us each make our own beer. Nick and I picked out our own uh, type of brew to do, and we are <laughs> brew to do. Brew to do. Brew to do, and uh, we're going to have a taste challenge with our friends and family once they're all done and see who made the better beer. And so you picked the red ale? I picked an Irish red ale, yeah. And I feel like I'm already ahead because I'm picking an IPA, which is just a tastier beer. My wife just started going gluten-free, and so we picked up something that cuts down a lot of the gluten. What's your favorite beer? Uh, I'm an IPA fan, so I'm already in the Citra IPA camp. So Brandon, obviously we know exactly how to make beer, but I have a friend that doesn't. So why don't you explain it uh, to us? So the first step that we're gonna do is selecting our grains, which you both have done. That helps to define the flavor of your beer. Yours does have a little bit of chocolate malt in it and then 60 malt. Yours has the Terra Pils malt and the Cara Wheat malt. But your base on both of them is a two row brewer's malt. So that's what makes up all your grains. We boil this for about an hour to start with and that creates your wort. And then we add your hops. Hops will help you add the flavor and define the flavor that you're looking for. And then from there you have a wort, which you'll need to ferment in a bottle. Down in front. Yes, thanks. Um, how much does all this cost just for one brew? It's the same amount of cost almost to brew one gallon as it is to brew five gallons. Uh, the grain is not the expensive part. All the equipment that you need to do it can become the expensive part. So put it on your Christmas list. But you can also do it right on the stovetop. Or find a friend that has a brew kit. You can also find a friend. And how does this come into play? This just looks nice. This Yay beer on three. One, two, three. Yay, Yay beer! Hmm. I'm so sorry. First off, you know damn well that coffee day is October 1st and we're celebrating beer day. So You're get right. your head in the game and pay attention to what this man's saying. All right, so first thing we need to do is bring our water to a boil. So we, both of you guys need to do about a gallon and a half worth of water in each of your pots and bring it up to 155 degrees. Why didn't you tell me not to put it on my head before I did it, Brandon? Yeah. That's like, that's gonna help me out a little bit yeah. in the flavor. So that brings me to a good point is we need to keep everything as clean as possible uh, when you're brewing beer, because otherwise you introduce contaminants and bacteria into your beer. Well, I'm gonna go rob a 7-Eleven. The next step we're gonna be doing is uh, making your grain bags. Do not put it on your head. Okay, gotcha. Oh, there we go. Oh, see, teamwork making the dream. Don't help him. Sorry, then not your top. Not my top. You just lost a little bit of flavor. Son Lionel, do you like beer? High five. Yeah, I like beer too. So we're gonna go put these in our boiling water. It's important to keep this at 155 degrees for now, this next hour. It's gonna take a little while to make beer. I know you want beer so bad. Oh, I'm doing the red ale? I think I do have the red ale. Because your bag said IPA on it. Yeah, that's You're doing mine. This one's Nick's. This <laughs> You're one's doing yours. mine. That's oh, no. Which means I have the advantage now. You just lost a little bit of flavor. Switcheroni. Whoop. So, and how many minutes are now? 60. Okay. Yeah, that's six minutes. Oh, there you go. So this step is called steeping the grain. Uh, you do this for about 60 minutes, and it get, helps really add the flavor profile for your beer. Here, let me help you. Today is April 21st. 
And then after that, we're going to um, take out the grain and we're going to put in your hops, which also will add more flavor, and then boil for another 30 minutes. So we need to sanitize our fermenting jars, our airlocks, any tools that we're using and any surfaces that we're working on. So this is a one-step cleaner. You don't have to rinse it out after it's done. It cleans it with oxygen and with um, a, a chemical that actually you even put into your bottles and you, it's safe to drink, it's safe to use, it's safe to touch. So anything the beer touches after it's after the wort, once you bring it down to temperature, that's going to be the hardest process to keep everything clean. So we need to bring the wort down to a temperature uh, around 75 degrees. And at that point, that's when bacteria can enter your beer or any of your equipment. So we have to do dishes is what you're saying? We all have to do dishes. Hmm. My wife is gonna love that I'm cleaning the sink out. Is this a good time to drink beer? Burrito from Burrito Day. Sit. Good dog. Oh, nice! This game's sick! How do I shoot fireballs? Five, four, three, two, one! Happy Beer Day! So now the time has come to remove each of our grain bags. Try to squeeze out as much of the juice okay, as I'll possible. Get mine. So at this point, you've released all the sugar from the grain that you possibly can into the water, and nice. that's important because that's what's going to make the alcohol. Can you squeeze the sack too hard? You can. Is that okay? So don't squeeze oh. the sack too hard. Sorry. Oops. <laughs> all right, that was a good rehearsal, guys. Good rehearsal. Oh my gosh. I feel your sack's bigger. Thank you. Happy beer day to me. So now that all the sugar's been released into your water, it's now called a wort. And so now we have to bring our wort up to a rolling boil mm. so that we can add the hops to it. Is this on high? I don't know your stove. I'm not gonna help you, I wanna beat you. <laughs> Let's hops to it. <laughs> Take a pitcher, it'll last longer. Pitcher huh? beer. It's like Christmas, look at that. Oh, That's so cool. Open up your presents. How would you describe it? Let's describe it for the people out there. Take a big whiff. It smells like marijuana, actually. Let me smell. Oh, yeah, I can see that. Not mine that I would know anything about that. Mine definitely smells different, though. Smell it. Yeah, because yours is a Citra, which yeah, is a lot more different. spicy. It smells like, I, I grew up in gold, Golden, Colorado, where Budweiser is. And we had this smell like twice a week. Wait, Golden, Colorado? Of course. <laughs> Dude, get out. Wow. Out now. How dare you? That's Rocky Mountain Kool-Aid, man. <laughs> Easy. I grew up there. I'm, now I'm Very embarrassed. Yeah, oh. So the Citra IPA needs a third of those hops at the beginning of the boil. So right now. Oh, wow. Those just like dissolved right away. Really changes the smell of it. Sweet. Nick, in 15 minutes, you need to add another third of yours. Okay. Thank you. Brandon, you're so great. So right now you're doing a rolling boil so you can boil out all the last mm -hmm. impurities. And then from there we need to rapid cool it as fast as possible to get down to 75 degrees. Yeah, how many minutes do you have left? <laughs> yeah, do that right on all of the sanitized <laughs> stuff. Nick. I didn't do we have to re-sanitize that? I would. <laughs> you Nick, just you just sneezed it. on I didn't all know the cleaner. Nick. Oh, go play Wii, I'll clean it. I can I should do it. Of all I... the places he could have sneezed, he sneezed on all the sanitized stuff. <laughs> Yeah, I would definitely re-sanitize yeah. that. <laughs> Sorry. Oh yeah, that's a winning beer right there. Yeah, right. Happy beer day. Happy beer day. What? How many different ways are there to cheers? Jisun hate. Dumbe. Nazdravi. Prost. Yamas. Slancha. Salute. Chin chin. Kanpai. Nazdravi. Salute. Skull. Yachida. Ishe tukta. Cheers. Please uh, comment and tell us how bad we are butchering these. <laughs> uh, so at this point, once everything stops boiling, we need to bring this down from like about 160 degrees down to 75 degrees as fast as possible. We want these coils in the ice. Go nice and slow. Rapid cooling. What are you at now? 160. So this needs to cool off down to 130 degrees. 130, not 75. Well, once we go down to 130 degrees, then we can start trying to pump it through here. Auto siphon. 
Eight dollars at your local brew shop. We're uh, about 115 degrees in the pot, and then this is cooling it down to last at 35 degrees. Mm -hmm. So next you're gonna be adding water to the fill line, right around the gallon mark. And that's okay if you have to add um, distilled water. Try not to lose any, figure out where our temperature is. Still kind of boiling a little bit, so I'm assuming it's pretty hot. Yeah, you're at over 160 still. You're right at about 80, so go a little slower and it's dropping. Next we're gonna pitch some yeast into each of our carboys. This is meant for a five gallon carboy, but we only have a gallon. So we need to kind of estimate based on like one fifth of this. Don't knock it. Don't put too much in. Like that's not yeast. Nick, now you need to do your uh, same deal with this. This is meant for five gallons. So you're gonna okay, do yeah. a quarter, about a quarter of that. Just a little bit more. So this is what's gonna help my wife drink the beer. Next we're gonna put the air locks on, which is gonna let CO2 pass through without letting contaminants in. Now we need to find a cool, dry place, dark place also, for these to be stored. Brandon, thanks for your help today. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Happy thanks, beer day. Bud. Yeah, happy beer Appreciate day. It. These are gonna ferment for one week or until the bubbling stops. And then from there, you can either do a double fermentation and put this into a secondary fermentation tank with a little Look bit more yeast. Bottom. You're going down, bro. You know what? I think as long as everyone gets to drink beer, aren't we all <laughs> really winning? Salud. Cheers. Prost. So here we are one week after we set these to ferment. Our airlock has no more bubbles in it, so that's how you know it's done fermenting. We're gonna bottle my Irish Red today, Nick's IPA. We're actually gonna do a double fermentation on it, and then we have a taste off. We wanna make sure everything is sanitized. We're gonna clean all the bottles. We're gonna boil our bottle caps on the stovetop for about 10 minutes. What we're gonna do is use the auto siphon to take my Irish Red, put it into this pot, and then we're gonna add priming sugar or dextrose to the beer. What that does is it allows the yeast to feast on the sugar and create carbon dioxide or CO2, and that's how our beer becomes carbonated. Use an online dextrose calculator to figure out the amount you need. We'll link this calculator in the description. We've got our sugar. We're gonna take all of this with the auto siphon and put it in to our secondary pot. You're gonna to wanna to leave about an inch from the top of the bottle. Don't fill them to the very, very top. Hey, look at that. Ah, oh, it's so cool. Last but not least, I transfer Nick's IPA into a secondary fermenter jug. And then after seven days, we can bottle this and then we're all done. Fortunately, we filmed our brew before quarantine kicked in. Unfortunately though, we didn't get our tasting party in in time, and it'd be kind of a lame tasting party if everyone had to stand six feet apart. Well, here's the results from our friends and family. Welcome to the first annual Quarantine Beer Festival. Program. It's tasting time. They both smell like beer. It does not smell like beer though. It smells like wine. It seems a little soapy. Yeah. Ooh, it's bubbling. Looks like a beer. Oh, yeah. The Irish Red and the Citra IPA. Cheers. You know what they kind of remind me of? Like the Kirkland's beers. It kind of tastes like your like mail order beer kit. It doesn't taste much like an IPA to me. Oh, we forgot to mention that Lexi doesn't like beer. It's not terrible. I've made worse beer than that in my house. Mm. Oh, it turned out good. Really good flavor. It's like girthy. I like it. That yeah, is like not it. bad. Do you want some beer? It tastes like beer. <laughs> That's good. That's exciting. I'm impressed that it's drinkable. It's really good. So it's a perfect trade. We should clear our palates before each. I'm gonna go with a cracker. Mm. They're both. Very delicious. This tastes yeah. like a flat Newcastle. One, two, three, John. Nice. Oh! I would say the Irish pale ale. I think I would go with this one. I like the IPA. I like the Irish red. I mean, this one's better. I would prefer the Coffee IPA. Like Actually, believe it or not, I like the first one better. What do you, you like? You also made me happy. That's my favorite. What? I think I'm gonna vote for mine. I or... would drink more of this, but I would love this for one beer. I'm gonna go with the, the yeah. ale. Agreed. It pains me to say it, but I think Schmitz is the winner. I guess I like yours better. My vote's the IPA. Me too. IPA is the big winner. Oh, God. No! <laughs>
Ew. I feel like the more I'm tasting it, the less I'm enjoying it. It's an April Fool's joke. I need some milk. I still don't like this. I don't know, me sneezing all the equipment probably didn't help. All right, good Thanks job, Nick. Happy beer day. Happy beer day. Happy beer day. Cheers. Cut. Now let's get drunk. Wow, I can't believe I won. Honestly, your beer was way better. So, well, cheers to me, I guess. Cheers. Cheers, man. You know, I'm just happy that both of our beers were drinkable and people seem to enjoy it. Some people, most people seem to enjoy them. Cheers to that. We should probably go into business. Cheers. All right, well, we just celebrated beer day. Hey, so can you. Ooh.